Hello everybody, this is Patrick. I um, want to show you a little tool that I've created over a little bit of time here to help me in my YouTube and article writing and spinning format. Very simple. I'm um, trying to get you to take a look at it for me. Use it, test it, see what you like, what you don't like. Totally free, no cost. Uh, just so we can build a better mousetrap and maybe help save uh, people some time and help them get some information that will help them make some more money. So let me show you what this is uh, kind of all about. Hold on. Okay, we call this a tag formatter, and there's a couple functions. Uh, one is we can scrape the uh, tags from YouTube videos. You can get them yourself if you go the long way, open up a video, go to the source code, search the source code, search all the tags, find them, copy, cut, paste them, and you'll be able to get them that way. But I found that was too time consuming with all the video work and YouTube work that we do, especially trying to find the right ones um, you know, in multiple videos. So create this little tool where we can put one to five URLs for the video on uh, YouTube here, and we can steal the tags. Um, and very, very simple. I'll show you how that works right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've copied a uh, simple uh, URL from YouTube. This was for the Get Presence, Get Web Presence um, YouTube videos to show people and share ideas on how to become seen on the website versus uh, certain media. So this YouTube video ranked fairly highly, so I want to see what tags it is using. So all I have to do is copy and paste the YouTube URL and click on Get Tags right here. And what will happen is it will pull the tags that it can see uh, from the source coding that you can no longer see on YouTube. So by clicking the, tag, the, the, the Get Tags button on that particular video, we see that this particular video has web presence, builder, credit, repair, website. You know, These are the tags that they are promoting in uh, YouTube and for all the side videos that are coming up on the side looking at these various tags as well. For me, that doesn't really tell much of a tale in terms of how I would want to tag my YouTube video that I'm making in Get Present. So what we can do is add you know up to five URLs at a time. So let me go grab some and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and snagged you know the, roughly the top five videos um, for Get Presence, Get Web Presence on YouTube. I put those five videos right in here, and I'm going to go ahead and clear this out, and we're going to click the button. And it should go out and get all of the various tags for all of those five videos. So now you can see we've got Get Found on Google, Advertising, Social Media Marketing, uh, Social Media, Got Presence, Got Web Presence, here, What's Your Web Score. Um, so I'm able to really find a lot of good tags by scraping you know, all of those particular videos. So I can go through and figure out which ones I would want to use when I'm promoting my product, whether it's Get Presence, whether it's an affiliate program, whether it's weight loss, what, what, whatever it is, you can snag the appropriate tags that's going to help your video get ranked. And by utilizing these keywords that are found in the tags, you can also put those keywords in the body and the description of your YouTube video. Um, hang on one second. I'm going to go get something and be right back. Okay, so by doing that, we can just kind of go grab a um, notepad and copy and paste all of those words that we just snagged for keywords and go through them and pick the ones that we want for our particular video and uh, put those in to YouTube without all the hassle of retyping them, searching them, or whatever. And you can see that only took a few seconds in order for us to grab all of these, these keywords that we can turn into tags for our particular product that we want to sell. Uh, I'm just going to move this over here a little bit because I want to show you, you know, the next aspect of what is really quick and easy about this little tool that can save us time and, you know, mostly time because we've done the research to find the keywords that we want. Now, in many cases, um, I'm going to just go ahead and clear this, clear this area out here. <clears throat> okay, so. You know, the other aspect of article writing or blogging is unique content, you know, changing words around, putting them in, in different unique patterns, especially with YouTube as well. 
we're not quite so restricted in YouTube videos as we are in some of the other areas. But for me, okay, I hate to type. I don't know about you, but I hate to type. And so one of the things that I hate to do is in YouTube or when writing articles is changing the, the syntax around the, the words to change them and make them spinnable. So one of the things that, that I did in, in this particular little software program is created various ways here in which we can put keywords in and we could take those keywords and format them in different ways and shapes to save us a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is take those keywords that we just found and I'm going to stick them in this tag box here and uh, let me go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, so it took me a second, but you can see here these are the keywords that we just scraped from all the YouTube videos. And maybe we want to use those for articles, you know, for some of the uh, spinning your uh, blog posts so that you're not always using the same words, but you want to get your same keywords in there. So as far as YouTube videos, you know you need the quote marks, uh, you know, mostly or commas around creating your, your keywords in, in YouTube. And you only have so many characters, which... You know, I can get into a little bit later and share with you on a different uh, different platform. But, you know, you can see here that we have the quotes around each of the keywords in this formatting tool. So we type in our keywords and we just click on the radio button for keyword for quotes. Click the format button and you can see here on the bottom that all of our keywords are now formatted with quotes around them uh, for whichever format you would need to do that especially like in YouTube where they want the quotes uh, or commas and now you can copy in the, the keywords that you want with very little effort you don't have to sit there and type shift quote type shift quote type shift quote which I hate you know so this saves me an absolute ton ton of time now let's say for example you want to take all of these particular keywords and spin them you know so that when you're writing an article every one of these keywords will pop up at a different time assuming that these are the keywords that you want you can just go ahead and click on the uh, keyword syntax box here that shows for spinning you click on format and you can see here that the first bracket is around here which is your first quote every time that this gets spun it's going to spin with a new keyword that you scraped out of Google and it you can see that the end bracket is here now you may say that's too many words in there well that's fine break them break this up into two or three or four or five or six categories of five or six or seven words and put them together and you can see the potential possibility of spinning you know your article and really embedding the keywords that you want so that you're not going to get hit with with um, potential duplicate content on that particular environment now you know another environment here is that some of the uh, the syntax looks at the uh, the bracket on the back like this um, so you could just click on custom you can change this bracket to anything you want but we'll leave it that for right now so I can show you that we have the same thing you can see here's your bracket at the beginning uh, down here is your bracket at the end and you have commas in each uh, after each word to separate them with whatever they would want to be you know just to show you the power of what we can do here let's just say for example that you needed to have a ampersand at the uh, the front and you needed an ampersand at the back and you wanted every word you know in the uh, list um, separated by a minus sign you could you could do this create your own custom keyword set you know check the customization button right here and click on format <clears throat> and as you can see the custom design gave you your ampersand with the um, dash key in between each of the key words for your format. So literally you can format any keyword, you know, sentences, any way that you want to help you save time, effort without having to type all this and make mistakes. It's, it's very, very, very easy to do. Uh, once again, you know, I'm looking for people to give me ideas on how to make this uh, even better. I'm going to give you uh, access to this absolutely free to use and play with uh, if you promise to just give me a little bit of feedback um, you know another another situation is where we we can snag all these keywords from copy cut and paste and certain websites and whatever and you want to create them in you know a situation where each keyword is on its own line and you got to put it on there and you backspace to take the comma out and backspace to take the comma just a royal pain in a kibosh 
So what I've done is added a, another feature here called each keyword new line. So you have all your keywords up here in whatever format you have them, any one of these formats as well. It will take and look at that and what it will do is when you click on the format button, you can see here it's going to format every one of those into a new line, you know, without any um, um, formatting involved with it so that you can utilize it, copy, cut, and paste it and whatever that you're looking for. So that's, you know, the tag formatter, the URL tag scraper. Um, please take a look at this, play with it, and come up with some ideas in terms of what we might be able to, to do better, um, you know, in utilizing it. But in its raw form and, 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 the, and the way in which it's built right now, it's designed to help you snag keywords so that you can be more profitable in creating your YouTube videos. By snagging those keywords, you know that they are the ones that are being used by the most popular videos on YouTube. You can utilize those for other um, SEO purposes in terms of you know LSI, uh, latent um, syntax for your uh, keywords that, that are related to your main keyword. And um, you know just a great little tool to save time, effort, and make you some money. Once again, free, uh, no charge. Uh, just for taking a look at it and helping me try to figure out what we could do to make it a better tool. It's Patrick. Um, thank you for taking the time to look at this, and please get back to me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.